there's something zen about spending an hour or two each week pushing the lawnmower around the yard on a sunny day. The drone of the motor drowns out your thoughts as you work on a task with a clearly defined objective, making your lawn look its best. Of course, the deciding factor between an almost meditative experience and one filled with frustration is often the quality of the lawnmower you have. Before we get started on our video detailing the best lawnmowers, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which is in your budget range. Starting off with the best overall lawnmower, we have the Honda HRX 217 VKA lawnmower. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of the Honda 21 inch variable speed 4 in 1 gas walk behind self propelled lawnmower, we should point out that the model numbers HRX 217 VKA and HRX 217 K5 VKA are used interchangeably by Honda to refer to this lawnmower, and there do not appear to be any differences between the two. That said, the best adjective to describe the HRX 217 VKA is powerful. The 190cc engine allows you to mow at a decent clip, and it starts more easily and runs more efficiently than most side valve engines. Also, the rear wheel drive makes it so you can mow inclines and hills effortlessly. There are more features than we would have space to cover here, but we would be remiss if we didn't touch on the Versa Mow system. This system allows you to choose how much grass is mulched and how much is bagged depending on your yard's conditions. It also lets you shred leaves so you no longer need your leaf blower. The Honda HRX 217 VKA is at or near the top of all the expert best lawnmower lists, including popular mechanics, top 10 reviews, and lawnmower review. The testers at Consumer Reports gave this model top ratings for handling, bagging, and mulching, and very good ratings for ease of use and side discharging. Additionally, the reviewer estimated the breakage rate by the fourth year of ownership to be 16%, which is very well below any of the other mowers they tested. The reviewer at the wire cutter said, This Honda is in a class of its own. He was impressed with how the mower cut grass into smaller pieces with its double blade design, and he found the Versamo system incredibly helpful. However, the reviewer thought it was tedious to adjust each wheel when he wanted to change the cutting height. About 86% of the buyers who reviewed the Honda HRX 217 VKA on Home Depot's website gave it 4 or 5 stars. Handyman left the most helpful review after using his mower for one year. He noted that it's the best mower he's ever owned because of the adjustable speeds for the self propel controller. He goes top speed and has to walk briskly to keep up. Other buyers remarked that the mower cuts well after just one pass and doesn't leave stragglers, clumps, or lines. One buyer was impressed with how it could even handle unkempt grass over 6 inches high. Next up, we have the best electric lawn mower, which goes to the EGO cordless battery push mower. EGO has two 21 inch deck 56 volt lithium ion cordless battery mowers that are quite popular and share a number of similarities, the LM2101 and the LM2102 SP. The major differences between the two are that the LM2102 SP is self-propelled and has a larger capacity 7.5 amp battery and costs $100 more. For the purpose of this review, we're going to focus on the features they share in common. The EGO 21 inch handles side discharge, bagging, and mulching. It is designed for use in all weather and even features LED headlights for when mowing in heavily shaded areas or after dark. There are six deck heights to pick from and adjustments are made with a single lever. EGO backs the quality of their mowers with a 5-year limited warranty. The EGO LM2101 is the highest rated electric battery mower on Consumer Reports by far. Its lowest category rating is for its bagging, for which it is rated good. Despite testing the push option, the reviewer found this mower was easy to operate and had effortless handling. However, they found the 40-minute battery runtime to be fairly short, a common issue with cordless electric mowers. Tech Ares tested the EGO LM2102 SP and found the battery lasted 60 minutes, which was long enough to finish the reviewer's one-third acre lawn. He estimated that the yearly cost to operate the EGO would be $1.50. More than 1,100 buyers have left 5-star reviews of the LM2101 on Home Depot's website. Austin wrote a review after a year and a half of ownership and was impressed with how lightweight and quiet it is. He shared a story of hitting a metal pipe in his yard with the mower. It damaged the electronics, and EGO sent him a brand new mower to replace it. Buyers also appreciate that the battery only takes about 40 minutes to recharge from dead. Up next, we have the best corded electric lawnmower, which goes to the Greenworks 20-inch 12-amp corded lawnmower. The Greenworks 20-inch 12-amp corded lawnmower has a lot of features that can make your mowing experience enjoyable. Since it's corded, you don't need to stop to recharge a battery or gas up. 
It's a 3-in-1 that has mulching, side discharge, and rear bagging capabilities. There are seven cutting height positions ranging from 1.5 to 3.75 inches, and you can adjust the height with a single lever. Plus, the 10-inch rear wheels, 7-inch front wheels, and 56-pound size make it easy to push around the yard. For the past three years, we have used the Greenworks 22502 corded lawnmower on our quarter-acre lawn. We particularly liked how easy it is to adjust the blade height, and it's surprisingly light. There are just a couple of negatives we have noticed. We live in the Pacific Northwest, where mowing wet grass is unavoidable. When the grass is wet, it does not feed into the bag of this mower easily. Also, we had to replace the cord after my teenager ran over it with the mower. So, cord control is important and takes a little planning. Your Best Digs rated the Greenworks 22502 as the best electric lawn mower. The reviewer found this push mower easy to maneuver thanks to its lightweight design. He also liked that it was much quieter than the gas mowers he tested. However, he noted that dumping the clippings was awkward since there was a crossbar in the way and he would have preferred if the mower came with an extension cord. Greenworks offers the option of buying the mower with an extension cord for $30 extra. Over 2,500 buyers have left 4 or 5 star reviews of the Greenworks 22502 on Amazon. The most helpful reviewer compared the model to a couple Black & Decker electric mowers he had owned in the past. He was much more satisfied with his Greenworks mower because it could handle wet grass and was easy to maneuver. Several buyers suggest coming up with a mowing pattern that moves away from the outlet and thus makes it harder for you to trip over the cord. One buyer found that the motor would get dirty during use and recommends opening it up and cleaning it with compressed air. Up next, we have the best affordable lawnmower, which goes to the Sunjo MJ401E Mojo 14-inch 12-amp electric lawnmower. When you first lay eyes on the Sunjo MJ401E Mojo 14-inch 12-amp electric lawnmower, you may be struck by how small it is. At 29 pounds, it weighs almost half as much as the next lightest mower on our list. This makes it easy to maneuver, but it does raise questions of durability. Fortunately, the Snowjo and Sunjo company backs the quality of the mower with a full two-year warranty. With a 14-inch blade, this mower is meant for yards that are one quarter acre or smaller, and the 16-inch deck makes it easy to get into tight spots. Top 5 Lawn Mowers recommends the Sunjo MJ401E to people with a small yard who don't want to spend a lot on a mower. The reviewer liked it overall for many of the same reasons one might like any electric mower. No fossil fuels, lightweight, etc. But he also noted that there were only three height positions, with the lowest scraping the ground, and due to its 14-inch blade, it takes longer to mow a lawn. Your Best Digs also recommended the Sunjo mower, but the reviewer also added a number of caveats. He found it will get the job done if you prefer to only bag and just have $100 to spend. However, the clippings compartment filled up quickly for him, and the height adjuster felt flimsy and required adjustment on each wheel. The Sunjo MJ401E has more than 1,250 five-star reviews on Amazon. Buyer Jim has had his mojo for more than a year and left it in the weather and abused it otherwise. He is happy with how it's performed. He cautions against buying the 16-gauge extension cord recommended by Amazon. Instead, choose 12-gauge for 100 feet or more and 14-gauge for under 100 feet. Other buyers commented that the mower feels and looks like a toy. It seems flimsy, but they also found it could handle child-swallowing yard growth. Now for our last pick, we have the best lawnmower for large yards, which goes to the Toro Recycler 20333 Lawnmower. One of the coolest features of the Toro Recycler 22-inch personal pace variable speed gas walk-behind self-propelled lawnmower that kept coming up in our research is the blade brake clutch. This allows you to stop the blade without stopping the motor of the mower, which is helpful for moving debris out of the way. The Recycler has a powerful 163cc engine that doesn't require priming or choking to start, and there's no need for oil changes. There are nine cutting positions, and Toro backs the mower with a three-year guaranteed-to-start warranty. Consumer Reports recommends the Toro Recycler 2333 because of its very good ratings in ease of use, handling, side discharging, and bagging, and excellent mulching. The reviewer specifically liked the washout port for cleaning buildup under the sizable deck. The wire cutter used to list the 2333 as the runner-up pick but supplanted it with the 2340 because of the newer model's upright storage. However, the reviewer still recommends the 2333 if the blade brake clutch is more important to you than compact storage. More than 2,100 buyers on the Home Depot site recommended the Toro Recycler 2333. The most helpful reviewer found the powerful engine did an excellent job of chopping through foot-high grass, and the rear-wheel drive gave him power while turning. He also mentioned that he could almost jog with it. 
Another buyer notes that the Toro still runs well after three years of questionable maintenance. He does note a couple negatives. It's a bit louder than the Honda, and if you go fast, the mulch is not fine enough. So that sums up our top lawnmowers. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.